So no one told you life was gonna be this way. <laughs> and that's our audacity clap. <laughs> I, didn't, I, I didn't clap though. Oh, I clapped. Well, too bad, I guess. I, I, mean, I, could, I could do it again and we can clap three times. No, we'll just line it up to your, uh, your singing. Oh, no, let's do an actual clap. Well, I think I'm going to see if I can get Sandra to watch <laughs> The Adventures of Baron Munchausen tonight. I had that movie. Um, that was extremely left field, but cool. All right. So, on the count of three. One, two, three. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so yeah, um, if you guys remember, uh, last time you had planned to assault uh, the bathhouse that you had discovered as kind of uh, Oakenheart's <coughs> gang's home base, or at least the place where they're producing all their drugs. Um, and if I remember correctly, your plan was to get into contact with the librarians, um, because they had kind of offered... Uh, to assist you with this, um, and uh, set up a plan where they kind of attack from the front, uh, and you, you know, use that as a distraction to kind of do a pincer attack. Um, does anyone remember anything different? Nope, that sounds right. That sounds about right. <clears throat> did we do downtime last time? We did, I think. Cool, I can't remember. It's funny because I don't remember having that much detail in it. I, I think <laughs> I might have pieced that yeah. together. I think, yeah. I don't know that we decided on, like, the, like, kind of pincher formation, but, like, we were going to go to the library and get, like, back up and basically just do, like... An assault. An assault. Mm -hmm. Which is so good because finally I could just be ultraviolet. <clears throat> mm, what's that clock say? What's that clock say? Escalate things so quickly. I guess it, things don't escalate if they just like start violence. Yeah, so. exactly. Which, by the way, <laughs> real quickly off topic. Um, the other week I played a like a space D and D, uh, and in it I had to play. We were all criminals, so we all had like we we all chose like different crimes, and everyone chose like tax evasion and stuff like that. And I just went full mass murder, like killing children and everything. I went I went to the evil side of it, and it's never been so hard to play a character that is just chaotic evil. I didn't realize like how paragon good I tried the in a in a D D. But it's just it was just like I no, I can't do this. I can't do this at all. I'd say I got to play uh the actual Blades in the Dark the other day. How'd that go? It went really well. I built a character that uh ended up calling Widow. Uh her she was a whisper whose husband was taken over by a vampire as you do. and and we delivered a crate of soul paintings to a merchant um incre like we we drove a carriage through a bunch of blue jackets blue coats uh just knocked them off of a bridge uh we pissed off the firefighters i summoned a bunch of poltergeists it went really well it was a lot of fun good times Sounds good. All right. <clears throat> Sorry, yes. Um, so, yeah. So, you meet up with the librarians. Uh, you go over the plan with them. They are, of course, down to help. Um, and, uh, yeah. So, um, let's just jump Can right. I ask for one of the, re the, the really cool weird guns? The really cool weird guns. <laughs> Yes. Oh, you mean the you mean Brigitte's flail? How did you how did you figure out Brigitte's flail before Brigitte was released, Eric? How did you do this? Just you know, magic. Um, I was sitting here going, "Who the fuck is Brigitte? Did I miss someone?" I was like, no, "Oh wait, for, no, he's it's home. because yeah. Archie's like uh, Brigitte." It's Overwatch, and I just it that's just, a it joke. Just, <laughs> yeah, it just it threw me because I was like, "Wait, what? Who is this character that I can't remember?" Um, I will say. Sure, you can take an unusual weapon, uh, kind of for free, not as part of your load this mission because. Can, can we oh, all really? That? Yeah, you can all do that. Ooh, what should I take? Oh, that reminds me. I should figure out what my load is before. Well, we'll go through. Yeah. I'm gonna go heavy. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely. I mean, if if the whole point is to 
assault this place, oh, I'm absolutely going heavy. Mm-hmm. I think that's a good idea. Ooh. What, what rookie, kind of what's the rookie weapon again? What's it look like? It's a flail that she can fire out. Oh, cool. cool. Yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah, so you all can choose your load. Um, and let's go through the engagement roll. Uh, who's rolling it? Are you rolling it? Uh, I, yeah, I usually roll it. Okay. Uh, okay. let's see. Is this operation particularly bold or daring? Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. So that's two. Is this operation overly complex or contingent on many factors? Not really. Um, it's pretty. I simple. mean, we have a couple of. Di- how many different factions do we have involved? You Just do, us and the librarians. It's That's you, the, the librarians, and who you're attacking. Okay. So it's a little bit of coordination, but I don't think it's like overly yeah. complex. Um, does the plan's detail expose a vulnerability of the target or hit them where they're weakest? I guess that's your call, whether it's their weakest. <laughs> well, because you are assaulting them from two different directions, and you you do have some intel on them beforehand, um, I would say so. Uh, so that'll be plus one. Is the target strongest against this approach, or do they have particular defenses or special preparations? Um, not particularly for this. Uh, can any of your friends or contacts provide aid or insight for this operation? I think we're kind of doing that with Archie, right? Or is that... Yeah. <clears throat> that's kind of like, yeah. Um, I think that's already kind of built in, though. Like, is there anyone okay. else you want to, like, rely on for this, is the question. Um, well, I do have I do have a friend that I can call in who might be able to help us with, uh, with kind of setting up some stuff. I do have uh, my cartographer friend. Mm-hmm. Also, what about your boyfriend, not boyfriend, Rebecca? I was going to say, has he... he I, I don't know how low level or high level he is. I always assumed he was just like a low level dealer. I didn't expect him to ever be at this bathhouse. Uh, Unless I hear otherwise from... Didn't, I, didn't he also, get kidnapped to get beaten up for a while? Oh, also, yeah, by the being, Illuminati? He's being beat up by the Illuminati right now, and I just kind of like sold him out for... You know, yeah. basically nothing. I think so, he's still unavailable. Well, sorry, y'all. There okay. goes our tipster and also my kind of not boyfriend. Mm-hmm. Um, usually I'd say the cartographer could help, but in this case, you kind of already have things mapped out because of um, the stuff that Ash previously did. Um, so we'll just take that. I was just about to be like, what did I previously do? And I remember now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and are there any enemies or rivals interfering in this operation? Not today. Um, uh, Dr. Brain's not, not going to come fuck with me? <laughs> not not, yet. <laughs> not, not yet. Not the cops who now appear to be just my rivals in general. <laughs> <laughs> rival. <laughs> just like the Toronto police as a rival. I might, I might just change my, my rivals from that one guy to the police. Because <laughs> at the yeah. moment, that's why I stayed out. Mm-hmm. Um, well, I don't think they're going to show up. Well, they might show up later, depending on how long you hang around or how long this how takes. How bad are you doing? Um, so, uh, I think they might be slightly he- higher tier than you guys. You guys are tier two, right? Or tier one right now. Uh, yeah. Hold on, I gotta jump over. We are tier one. Okay. Tier one operators. Yeah, right. Um, Sorry. That's fine. Uh, Yeah, this is a tier two location, so it'll be slightly more difficult. Um, Okay, so that means you'll be rolling two dice. Let me go ahead and do that. Two, submit. Yeah, six. A six. Excellent. That means good things happen. <clears throat> I mean, worry. Good result. You're in a controlled position when the action starts. Okay. So things will go pretty smoothly for you guys at first. All right. So the night is quiet in this corner of Old Toronto. Most buildings nearby are abandoned, and aside from a few squatters, the area seems relatively empty. 
no Bart, no doubt part of what made it appealing to Oakenheart. The librarians arrive as subtly as they can in unmarked vans that soldiers pile out of. They are a small squad, dressed in their trademark red coats, and they brandish spell books and swords along with their rifles. Alfie Daguerre is there, mace cannon slung casually over her shoulder. She gives a few quick orders to her troops, motioning for them to get into position. You, meanwhile, stack up at the rear entrance, ready to make a more subtle entrance while the Templars draw Oakenheart's attention. Um, so, uh, things are kind of set up. Um, your engagement means you're in a controlled position. Um, and so what that means, sorry. Uh, well, um, we better be in a controlled position because we're all going to be invisible. Oh, you're oh, going to... Oh, shit. Wait. No, oh, that's bad. That could be bad, then. I don't care. Okay. It's going to be better that no one can see any of us. But could we see each other? I can make it that way. That's, yeah. Because otherwise I might accidentally shoot one of you. Because if you remember, I have, I have both hide and scry. So, I mean, I can probably mix them together. Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah, if you want to catch it, uh, cast a spell right from the get go, we could do that. Yeah, I think all four. Uh, I think I cast a spell on all four of us, and we all four are going to be invisible for, say, an hour. Okay. Let me go to the magnitude real quick. Burr, burr, burr. You can just, like, do that? Me? Nope. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm yep. a spellcaster, so yeah. Mouse has magic, man. I just, that's so big and so powerful. I oh, know. <clears throat> so I was just not ready for it. It's almost like mad, It's almost like Mouse has been, has, has been practicing their attune. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so the scale is a small gang, so that's one. Uh, duration, an hour is two. Um, and then the tier and the quality. Uh, you can either make it adequate or good, if you like, or poor, if, uh, if you really want to. I think good. Good. Okay. All right. That'll bring it up to a stress cost of five uh, to cast this spell. Oof. Totally fine by me. All right. Oh, my God. I am clean of all, What's my st uh, of all stress right now, you guys. Mm -hmm. Oh, I am too. That must be I nice. I have one. I have How four. Oh, right. shit. And what do I do, Eric? Uh, let's do an attune check. Uh, because everybody is uh, is rolling, or because because I have, because I probably have to have everybody else involved. Would that be considered them helping? Uh, if they want to spend stress for it, yeah, they can. Anyone interested? Does it take it away from Nick's stress? Um, so now five and all. We we, just, we decided that last time uh, that that we could do it that way, but in this time, no, I'm fine taking it all right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so do I still roll anyway, even though he takes all the stress? You don't. You won't no, roll. Uh, okay. it, it's just if you want to take a stress and give him an extra die, essentially. How many die do you have already, Nick? I have two. All right. Yeah, I'll, I'll go and take I'll, a stress and help you. I'll take one as well. I'm sitting on way too much stress, unfortunately, so I will not be. Yeah, don't so do that. Take two extra die. Yeah. We take a, we take a stress each, or we take two stress each. Uh, stress. One stress. Eric, what 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 uh, position are we in right now? Controlled, you said. Yes. Cool. Back. Bonus dice. Two. Let's do don't, this. Don't fuck it up. Four. Four. That's not too bad. Didn't, didn't at all need our dice. <laughs> <laughs> didn't really help. Okay. Um. So that's kind of a moderate result. So it works um as well as you expect it to. Things don't go especially poorly or especially well. Um, so yeah, so you're invisible, um, I'm going to say, if you do something loud, like shooting someone, oh. or like, you know, something less than subtle, you'll kind of shimmer a little bit, so that, just to give the enemies a chance to get at you. Like, the invisibility yeah. isn't perfect 100% of the time. Can I just say, I, I feel like... Those four dice rolls represent each one of us in regards to how well we did casting the spell. Right. <laughs> I, I, I'm the one. 
That's yeah. funny. Mm -hmm. uh, did we establish how Mouse casts invisibility? Uh, yes. We, uh, I, I think we, we, we've established that anytime Mouse casts magic, they uh, draw a magic circle in chalk on the ground, on the ground um, and there's a lot of chanting and probably involved. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Um, so once you're I imagine all... it, mm -hmm. in this case, in this case, Mouse just handed the bowl, the bowl of incense to, uh, to Ash's character. Just acting, you hold this. Everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone else do the chanting. <laughs> you just hold the bowl. I can't screw that up. Good special Act, helper. Ash is a little annoyed by that, to be honest with you. Right. Well, he is literally the only one in our group who doesn't have some attunement to magic. I know. But he's also the only one in this group who's helped with a spell before, so it's just that he's a little bit up. <laughs> nice. Okay. Um, so once you're all good and invisible, you're ready. Uh, you can signal the librarians uh, that you're ready to begin. Uh, and they go in with a bang. You hear explosions and gunfire. Um <laughs> as they, you know, start lighting up the front of the building, uh, while uh, the bulk of his forces are kind of drawn off by the Templars, or, sorry, not the Templars, the librarians. I know what these things are. <laughs> um, I thought you were just, like, accidentally hinting at something. I'm like, wait, are the librarians? Isn't that in the rule book that they were, like, the... That they're like the remnants of the night. Yeah, so it's kind of like interchangeable, but the same. Yeah, yeah. Um, the new Templars. That's what the yeah. kids call them these days. Yeah, the Knights Templar too, wacky wizards. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Only Not one happy. person gets that joke. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. So as you make your way inside, there are still some guards in reserve with their wits about them. Um. So as you round kind of a corner of the hallway, you can see there's a group of Fae soldiers kind of scrambling for their weapons uh, and starting to head in the direction of all the gunfire and the fighting. Though they, of course, cannot see you yet. Uh, okay, are we just... I think, I think before we go in, uh, we probably make a plan. What's our goal? Are we just getting straight to Oakenheart or are we going to take out guys as we go? I... Uh, yeah, this is a flashback think, before we're invisible. I think we should get straight to Oakenheart, and then if we have to take guys out on our way out, fine. Yeah. Yeah. I think Oakenheart is our is our primary mission. Definitely. Are we going to kill him? But, <clears throat> yes. Probably. Yeah, I think we are. Okay. <clears throat> um, I think we also need to be conscious of if... Uh, so, uh, I'm going to tell you, this is what Acton will do. He will, like, attack and kill any of these guys if they are posing a threat to the librarians as well. No. Okay. You are not going to do that thing. I mean, oh. watch me. <laughs> we, we, we are not librarians. We are messengers. Keep an eye on us, not them. Uh, I mean, sorry, hold on. If they're threatening it's both of us, that's, it, that's a different case. But if they're just effect, if they're, if they're just threatening the librarians, <sighs> they're literally all threatening the librarians with guns. It's fine. The librarians also have guns and shell books and apparently explosives. Sure, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> okay. <gasps> <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure you completely convinced Acton with that, but that's okay. I don't think so. <laughs> Starting the game off with a bang and complete agreement. Exactly. <clears throat> um, just to make sure, we did uh, we did gather information before this mission, right? Uh, yeah, Acton did, or at least. Okay. Yeah, so I, I think, I guess I know the way? Yes. Okay. I know the way. Because I know that because of the Illuminati, we had an extra guy for that. Mm-hmm. Okay. And, um, we're, and I think our goal also in this case is to dispose of, or is to destroy the supply, isn't it? Yeah, which I definitely know where that is. I I'm going to say it's to secure the supply. What we do oh, with it at that point is up to us. No, we oh, should blow up the supply. Destroy it, yeah. The supply. It's no, not a good... There's no good application for this stuff. Wait, what was what was the analog for this drug? Like the real-world analog version of it? Is um, it like cocaine or, it's or heroin? Of, it's more like mushrooms. Okay. Oh, that In that you. case, oh. we probably shouldn't blow it up because... 
mushrooms, I don't know if you know this, they they replicate through spores. So if you blow up mushrooms, you're just spreading them. No, but you could incinerate mushrooms. Yes, yes, you could. <clears throat> okay. Uh, be that as it may... We will confiscate the mushrooms at the very least. Um, there are still guards kind of between you and where you're trying to get to. Uh, though they haven't really noticed you yet. I want to um, do... Okay. Go. I want to do the... <laughs> Bishop literally tells you guys beforehand, I'm going to do that stealthy video game thing where you just like... Or no, she doesn't play video games. That, that stealthy movie thing where you get up behind someone and you squeeze their neck really tight and then they fall asleep. <clears throat> Could I... So during this flashback... I imagine Acton will teach her how to do that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can do it. I can squeeze someone's neck. It's fine. Okay. It's fine. Gonna, it's we're, super we're easy. Gonna role play this because then I'm going to say, okay, do it. And then I'm going to have you do it on me to see if it works. Can I, I roll for this? I would love scene. to do I, this. I love this flashback scene. No, I think it's great. <laughs> All right. Uh, you can roll <laughs> finesse or skirmish if you like. Oh, Bishop. If I tap you on the arm, let go. Uh-huh. Bishop, I tap uh -huh. you on the arm, let go. Yeah, uh-huh. I'm just going to roll controlled standard, whatever. I'm just yeah, gonna it's click controlled. It. It's fine. It's all, it's all good. Yeah, it's We know what the effect is. We're mm -hmm. sparring. <clears throat> no bonus dice. Submit. Oh, oh, five. Oh, five. Oh, five. <laughs> oh shit. There right, is pretty there good. Is tapping. <laughs> <laughs> he's tapping, he's tapping, he's tapping. I let him go all the way down. And then I let him go. <laughs> Just like the movies. <laughs> That's nice. I like that. Um, Acton's going to wake up about 10 minutes later and be like, okay, you good? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's do a quick roll. Um, I think that heals two segments on your clock with each other. Oh, oh yay! I forgot about the clock. I never forget about the clock. Okay, we're halfway full. Uh, we're halfway there. We you got a friend High five. A <laughs> oh, sorry. I forgot that I didn't high five. Yes, that was our, our air high five. Nice. Just uh, FYI, Eric, when you're listening back to this, that was a high five. That was not syncing up. Okay, <laughs> sounds good. All right, so out of the flashback... Bishop's going to go try and do this on uh, one of the guards, correct? Yeah. yeah. Are we there? Uh, we I guess I'll, I'll do it on the other guard, because there's two of them. Uh, sure, yeah. So you can both make a roll. Uh, you can do... Okay. Skirmish, right? Yeah, finesse or skirmish. Either way. Position? Um, you're still controlled. Oh, okay. This a is... standard effect? Yes. <clears throat> no bonus, not. The standard effect of... <laughs> oh, damn! <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> Noise! You Acted it. Good at this. Oh, did I quit? <laughs> oh wow! You yeah, both are really, really in sync. Acting oh. critted and Bishop succeeded. Nicely done, guys. All right. Um, um, I swear to God, right afterwards, Acting holds out his hand for a high five. <laughs> if our clock was full, she would do it. Oh, it's not but quite there she yet. She kind of just looks at your hand and walks away. <laughs> Lose I'm one sorry. section on the clock. <laughs> it, would look, it would look super cool if we did high five, but one, we're, we're invisible, we're and two, I gotta go. <laughs> just a little clap in the air, and then we shimmer a little bit. Exactly. <laughs> on a, a, super quickly, it, like cinematically, I think that they both are doing this, and then it cuts to just an empty room with these guys just struggling. <laughs> yeah. <and> then, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they just I like slump to the ground. <laughs> I like to imagine it's like a, a series of cutting back and forth from two different angles. One of which where it's just these guys struggling, and the other of which is like it's got these really it's this really intense music, and they're like being strangled by the two by these two, and then it cuts back to them uh, just struggling with no music, dead silence. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah just a security a security yeah. camera feed of just like silence where they're just like yeah. Really in the air. Mm -hmm. I love it. I love this. Yes, it's good. It's nice. Good. Um, it's good. Acton is going to move their bodies out of the way. 
That's fine. You can do that. Um, so yeah, you quickly I'm hide their off. bodies in a closet or something like that um, because you critted so hard. But yeah, you and tie them up and tie them up. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you've gotten these guards out of the way um, as you move through the building. Um. So yeah. Uh, before so so kind of along your way as you're moving through the next thing would be where the mushrooms are stored. Uh, which you identified previously, Acton. Um, mm -hmm. It's just, you know, a not quite a, a little bigger than a closet, like a small storage room with boxes piled up uh, full of the mushrooms that they use to make the fairy dust. Um, How many boxes? Are, is it like, it's not a holdable amount of boxes, right? Or mm, is it? It it's like maybe a cartable amount of boxes, but not like okay. you, you you could conceivably just grab them and run, but like you wouldn't really be able to do anything else. Um. So I imagine like there was there was a talk about how we're going to dispose of these and everything. Uh, mm -hmm. So I, I imagine it there'd be another flashback here of um. Uh, it's, I think Acton talking to the doc. Uh, <laughs> The doc is, um, is currently in the process of molding a rubber ducky out of C4. I was going to say, so, I was going to say, so if we can't uh, burn them, we have to incinerate them. Would C4 work would be the question. Uh, sort of. C4 is more of a high velocity explosive, uh, uh, but I could probably turn it into an incendiary. Would that work? Yeah, we need an incendiary. Well, I'm, I'm asking you, you're the scientist. Yeah, give me like so am 20, I? give me no, give me like twenty minutes and the doc like reaches under his desk and pulls out this box of just styrofoam and then reaches under his desk and pulls out a jerry can of gasoline. Oh, give me twenty god. minutes. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, okay. Uh, another idea. <clears throat> we kill Oak and Hart. The librarians kill most of the bad guys. And we give the drugs to the librarian. Why are no. we? Why would we want the library? But then the no. librarians have the drugs. No one but gets the drugs. The to be fair, like, they, 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 no they one gets them. the mushrooms. We can't do like we don't know that they'll dispose of them. You know, are, well, are, are, you're smart enough to know that you give these people something that could get them a lot of money and a lot of power, and there is a chance that they won't get rid of them. Yeah, if we I give them to anyone, are... we should be giving it to the fairy courts to do with what they want. I guess they're they're definitely definitely sell them. God. Oh, well, they're... our big issue wasn't that they were selling them. It was that they were selling them to humans who were not equipped. I'm trying yeah. to think of what Bishop would want here. <laughs> the thing is, Bishop's human, so she's like, no, don't put these on the streets. Let's destroy yeah, that's, them. That's Mouse's concern, too, is just that it was getting given to people who don't know what it is. And it killing them. Yeah, we I think we should destroy him. Destroy him. Steven, uh, can we plant the C4 and then go take care of Oakenheart and then blast it? On our oh way yeah. Out? yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I have plenty of bots that I can, I can use. I feel bad about. Also, all your I don't think it needs like I don't think you need to waste a bot on it. It's just a remote trigger. <laughs> the the you just said the same thing twice. Yeah, bot like, remote, remote trigger. Oh, that's dark. But they got little faces, and like, where where faces would be? <laughs> okay, they may or I've may told... not have souls, Bishop. I've told you a couple of times now. That's just the way that the plates line up. They don't actually have faces. I mean, uh, Steven, not like Buzzbot. Buzzbot has a face. Stephen, they kind of look like that. <laughs> They're very Google cute. Google and put them on there. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> All right. Steven is not going to change his stance, so there's going to be googly eyes on the on the detonators now. I <laughs> imagine Acton afterwards They're draws like different faces on the on the bots in like different ones for each different bot, so that you can recognize which one's which. Are you are you implying really quick that Mouse does not already have a bag of googly eyes? <laughs> You're right. What I was thinking. <laughs> All right. Um. Yeah, so uh, go ahead and make a tinker roll then uh, for Steven to kind of okay. set up the C4. Tinkering away. 
Uh, any devil's bargains to offer me? Um, hmm. Let me think of one, if I can. Um. Do you need help? No, I have two dice, but I just don't want to fuck it up. Screw it up. I don't want to screw it up. Listen, I don't think you need to correct the, the foul language of this podcast. Yeah, I'm like, why are you correcting the foul language? I think, <laughs> so, so, the, so what I can give you is um, an extra die, but this will set the building on fire. And that may become oh. a problem. I am okay with that. What's my position? No! Our heat! <laughs> Our heat! Uh, this will be risky. risky. The gaming pigeons flying overhead. Ooh, <laughs> our heat! Uh, what sort of effect is this? Um, this will be... Um, this would usually be limited, but it goes to standard because of fine tools. Okay. I am going to not take the devil's bargain as much as I appreciate it. Okay. Just because I might get burned and I don't want to get burned. Okay. I got a five! Five. Not bad. Most of success. Um, so, yeah. Uh, it takes you a little while. Um, and there is a clock that starts. Ba, ba, ba. Um, but, uh, yeah, uh, you're <laughs> able to do it pretty easily. Um, For those of you that think it's a six part clock. Mm -hmm. Six part clock, one part starts filled. Um, okay, and this clock is uh, hidden at the moment. Okay, so we okay, cool. It's counting down to something. Okay, but, oh, but it's on a timer. It, so so it's set mm -hmm. with a detonator, but we don't know what the clock is yet. Yes. Okay, sounds if good. I, if I had to guess, I'm gonna guess it's until it, it's until it's discovered. But yeah, that's what I was thinking. Maybe. Might be, might not be. We don't know. <laughs> um, Actor is going to like quietly ask Stephen, like when when the time comes, can I press the button? Stephen just kind of stares at him for like thirty seconds, unblinking, and then finds it fine, fine. Thanks, thanks. Much appreciated. <sighs> I was hoping we were going to get a Jeff Goldblum. How dare you speak to me? <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? Indeed. People come up to me and say, Jeff, is it is it pronounced Goldblum or Goldblum? And I look at them and I say, why are you talking to me? <laughs> no, it's, and I always respond to them the exact same way. How dare you speak to me? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, uh, I don't have the charisma of Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> who, no who does? Who does? Thank you. Um, so yeah, so you move through the hallways once you have this incineration, thermite, whatever it is set up. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you get to um, blah, blah, blah. Uh, kind of the room Acton saw before uh, where there's like an airlock Ooh. kind of thing with steel doors and a few gas masks outside. Um and there are not enough for all of you. There's like two gas masks hanging on pegs. Uh -oh. <clears throat> um, um, I'll, I'll be honest, uh, because Acton's been here before, he knows about the gas mask, so he's going to grab the one he first comes in, and he is going to toss one, two mouse, and two bishop, because one is our tech and one is our getaway, and we need both of those. Well, do you need your getaway Ow. with you? Huh? What about... Hold on. Well, we definitely need our getaway person to be 100% okay, and um, after my whole, you know, stressing out trauma thing, I've got a thing about protecting Mouse. Guys, we can flash back. Mouse can literally order these on Amazon. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, well, I was going to say, is that part of our load? Like, is Yeah, like... it, will, it will increase your load if you take one in with you. Um, so it'll be one load and just add it to your list of items with the little plus thing. Okay. So do we all have, just... do we all have one then? Um, yeah. yes. Cause you can hey, just, yes. you Did order it? some off Amazon. Did it, um, uh, go, go visible as well. 
Um, that's a good question. I, I, I mean, our clothes did, so why wouldn't it? That's fair. Yeah. Well, it's I a guess new, if we had them, it's, it's a new item. item. It's a new item. It, it wouldn't be new well, for us if we bought we it. Back. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, you were flashing back. You're not just picking something up. Um. So yeah. So you had them on you, so they're invisible because they were with you when the the spell was cast. On a side note, this message is not sponsored by Amazon, but if it, but if Amazon wants to pay me, mm-hmm. Amazon, your best then, source then for gas all masks. Of us. I was gonna Amazon, say Amazon. Amazon, we will say whatever you want us to say about your products <laughs> for for a sponsorship. Amazon barely pays its workers. I don't think it's gonna pay you. That's true. I heard oh about the whole uh, the whole peeing and peeing bottles. In bottles. Yeah, yeah, it's it's pretty awful. It's pretty dark. Oh, I Amazon, oh. Amazon, I, re- I retract my statement before. Uh, no. Uh, I still cry, but you suck, Amazon. Okay, I'm done. Someone in Morocco just tried to access my email account. Uh-oh. Yeah. You said no, right? It's uh, no. Yeah, I've, I've got a thing. For, <laughs> nice. I've got a thing to say, like, unusual activity. And I'm like, okay, time to change all my passwords. Fun times. <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, so you put on your gas masks that you brought with you, um, and as you enter, you see that the main hall of the bathhouse here is filled with rows and rows of tables, uh, each bearing the same magical sigils and piles of fairy dust that you saw before. Uh, the scene itself is pandemonium, uh, as there, as the tables have been kicked over into makeshift barricades, uh, the air is filled with potent hallucinogens, and there's, uh, soldiers with, uh, you know some machine guns at the ready hiding behind these barricades while um, other, you know, fairy workers uh, just kind of hide in the corners and, you know, occasionally run around screaming. Um, here's the thing, though. Um, it is it is literally dust. Like, a powdery dust. And I think that's going to make you a little less invisible as it sticks to you. That's what I was thinking. Ooh. Like someone just flew through flower over us. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Um, so it's not going to happen right away, and maybe you guys can figure out a way around it or something. But that's the situation. Mm. Not great. Um, Kill everyone I, in the room. I have a question. Is there um, <laughs> is there a sprinkler system in this? Uh, Establishment like for fires. Um, there is not per se a sprinkler system, but there are <clears throat> copper pipes like all over the place above you uh, that are filled with steam. Okay, I'm gonna look up and see this, and I think I'm gonna try and jump up and like smash one with like a wrench from my mechanics tools. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, the goal being. To, to try and like mist the dust to wash the dust away so that we can we can get through. Okay. That also make us then, or it, like, or it's invisible. A second, or it's to cause a secondary obst- like obstruction of vision. That's true. Yeah, we can ha- sn- sneak through the mist. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, this sounds like it's probably going to be wreck to me. Eep. Uh, I'm going to push myself. Okay. I'll help. I was going to say I'll also help. I have wreck. But I want to I want to help in a very specific way, and that is that Mouse jumps up and just holds on to the pipe. <laughs> <laughs> just uses their weight to like. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, so like then I imagine uh, I grab one leg, Bishop grab the other, and pull. Because I'm also helping. Okay. Oh, like that? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. Okay. Um, so wait, if you're helping and Mouse is helping, and I'm pushing yeah. myself. So, don't, don't push yourself. So I just I checked the rules real quick, and it is that only one person can assist or roll. Oh, okay. So. Well, then okay. that's out. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Mouse, you're fine taking that, that stress. Um, It's probably better if somebody else does. I'll do it. I'll ta- so basically, uh, what I'll do is I'll um, I'll lift you up to grab the pipe, and then I will like pull you down and, with, and the pipe with it. No, I'm hitting it with my wrench. Fine. <clears throat> I want to wreck. Okay. Squad. She wants to wreck it. Okay, so th- is this risky standard? Uh, yes. Okay. 
And since I push myself, I get one. And because someone's helping me, I get a second one? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so. A five. Okay, pretty good. Uh, risky standard effect. There's a consequence. You suffer harm. A complication occurs. Used effect. All right. Um, so you do it with standard effect. Um, so you fill two spots on this pipe clock that I'm making here. Um, it's a four-person pipe clock for everyone listening. Mm-hmm. Uh, but you did just like you clanged on like copper piping. And oh, that yeah. does make a noise. And it, while it does, like, start to spray some mist down on you, it doesn't, like, it's not all the way off. Um, <clears throat> but people heard that, so they're going to start firing in that direction. No! Uh, I'm so sorry. Uh, Acton, uh, I imagine as soon as the gunfire starts, Acton raises his rifle, starts firing back, so he starts oh to Oh, my shimmer. God. This uh, is exactly what he would do. I'm sorry. This is was, my clock. He <laughs> also, I know, things. but he also shoves uh, Bishop out the way. Okay, so you're going to take the protect action, essentially. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, yeah. So, do you just want to take a consequence, uh, which will be you probably get injured, or do you want to... Um, do do you want to roll resist. Uh, to resist? I'll, resi I'll roll to resist. Uh, no, it's not you, it's me. So it was my oh, roll well, but he's protecting yeah. you, so he Oh, okay. Yeah, you. it's my protect action. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I see, what, I see, I see. All right, never mind. Yes, I will roll to resist. Okay, so Is you roll prowess, yeah. Uh, bonus dice, zero. Uh, yeah, right? I'm mm -hmm. just trying to look at what I've got here. Yeah. When fighting with at least two, no. Is it? It's not a desperate roll. Okay. Mm -hmm. Bonus zero. Three. So you take three stress. Mm -hmm. Cool. I'm getting up there now, guys. <laughs> uh, and if you want to fire back at them, or like, yeah, with I, the I, I am intent to hurt at them. Oh God, yeah, these guys are bad guys. Okay. Uh, yeah, go ahead and make a skirmish or a wreck check for that. Uh, position. Um, still gonna be risky. Okay. Uh, effect standard? Um, yes, because you have a fine rifle. Is anyone else going to be fighting as well? Or I'm hit, why is anyone firing? I'm hitting the deck. Okay. Yeah, I think Bishop hits the deck. Yeah, Mouse, I imagine, hits the deck. Oh my god, you just taught her how to taught them. I said her, damn it. You just taught them how to shoot a gun, so... No, okay. Oh no. No, that's that's good for me because if I'm fighting with a teammate, I raise my tier by one. Oh god, then yes, Mouse is firing too. So does that Mouse, go from no. standard to great? We'll go to standard to great. Um Mouse, do you want to spend a stress to help? Because that's kind Absolutely. of the intent. Yeah. What? You say no. I, I, I didn't I, hear that. I think I think in this case, Mouse is very aware that they're not a an expert shot. Mm -hmm. So I think it's one of those times when Mouse finds cover and is just, like, giving, like... <laughs> blind cover fire. <laughs> Basically blind cover fire, yeah. That's useful. That's useful. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh, it's not nobody's even, like, helping. It's not helping in the traditional way because they're not actually trying to, like, yeah. help anyone, but... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Six! A six. Nice. Very good. Nice. All right. Uh, so you do with great effect... Um, that finishes off that clock. Um, yeah, Which so finish? with a few well uh it's the clock to kind of get through this room is what it was. Oh, okay. Um, so you spray some bullets uh, at whoever's firing at you, kind of giving everybody else enough cover <clears> fire <throat> and taking out a couple of the guards enough that you can kind of, the team can kind of get through this room uh, without taking any more damage. Uh, as soon as like the other guys have, I, I imagine I killed them all, um, mm -hmm. or at least wounded them all enough that they're not going to fire back. I I then just like, is everyone all right? Is everyone okay? And he just like checks on them all. So he's just he's standing with his rifle pointed at the door. He's looking from the left to right, uh, just like looking to make sure that everyone's all right and not hurt. I think Bishop just like stands up and like dusts herself off of the desk, and she's like, well, one, she has a gas mask on, so she's like, probably like, why do you have to escalate things so quickly? <laughs> <laughs> that was well done. 
And yeah, actually, just like seriously, you're fucking welcome. <laughs> I and, then he just, and then he just walks forward. Dang it. <laughs> all right. So, yeah. Did so you, you kill everyone? Yeah, well, I killed them all. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Including the civilians. This is what I do. <clears throat> well, obviously not the civilians. I'm not... I'm not I, was, I was under the impression... I was under the impression that Acton... The thing that he did was go and schmooze with police officers to help us get past them. He does that, too. Okay. He just doesn't okay, do that well. Many... And by many, I mean two talents. <laughs> Precisely two. And no, 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 no. I also have punching. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay. So you I'm, make I'm it. I'm out 17 year olds. <laughs> Not. <laughs> <choking> <laughs> out. God Too damn soon. Gonna have to take this out again. <laughs> that happened, though. You can't take Shut it out. Up. You can't just erase it. It happened. <laughs> that is the thing that, that happened. I want to erase it from my brain. Oh. Uh... Basically, I think what you have to do is when you edit this, go back and like, oh, wait, everyone be quiet here. 18. So now every time I've said 17 <laughs> previously, you could just cut in 18. <laughs> <laughs> I will point out, Eric, you were the one that added the the detail that she was 17. You were the one, yeah. Uh, well, I think Eric was doing that so we wouldn't choke out a teenager. <laughs> uh, Eric 18. underestimated how awful of people we are. <laughs> That was my that was my mistake. Okay. Um, it happens a lot. It happens a lot. All right. So you get through this room, um, decking out uh, the face soldiers who are shooting at you. Um, you make it across the room uh, mm. and into kind of the area that Acton hasn't explored before, where you presume Oakenheart's office or like inner sanctum of something is, because you looked pretty much everywhere else before. Um, so you get through the door, uh, and it leads into another set of hallways. And as you're proceeding down these hallways, uh, there is a loud slamming noise, uh, like a, a hammer striking stone. And the wall to the left of you just kind of erupts into debris. Um, there is a uh, librarian soldier thrown through the breach created, and then he slumps against the opposite wall, unmoving. Uh, after... Uh Sorry, go ahead. No, no, it's fine. I was going to say, that's not good. Yeah, it's not great. Uh, after him uh, piles in a massive fey, his stony skin, uh, his skin stony and rock-like. He slams his way through the wall um, and uh, towards this hapless librarian, a uh, look of fury etched in his stony features. Is the librarian still alive? Um, it's impossible to tell. Like, he's not moving. I mean, but like, so the libraries are all human, aren't they? Yes. Yeah, and they just went through one, through a wall and into another wall. So like, by looking at the force, this guy, is this guy like either dead or extremely paralyzed? They're not um, a superhero, so I can't imagine they can, so, like, if I get thrown through a wall that's know? made of stone. Well, I'm just saying, me personally, if I get are thrown through a wall. Are you going to check his pulse wall, while someone's standing <laughs> over him? No, that's my point, is what I'm saying is. In real life, if I get thrown through a wall that's made of stone and then hit another wall, I don't think I'll survive that. Okay, Ash, I don't think it matters right now because we're not going to be able to help him anyway because there's a giant stone man in front of us. Yeah, I know, but it, depending on if he's alive or dead, depends on what Hacken's going to do. Mm -hmm. um, or whether Hacken thinks back? he's alive or dead. Can we flash back to gathering information about, about Oakenheart? Because I'm very concerned this is Oakenheart. <laughs> Um, so you would know who this is because you've kind of gathered information on be on him before, uh, and this is Harkenstone, one of Oakenheart's enforcers, who has oh, no. rock-like skin. Uh, I think Copper Creek warned you about him. So he's rock-like skin, right? Yes. Um, I'm going to say the Templar, in Acton's professional opinion, is probably dead. Okay. Well, he's so then, so, no. Okay, but in my in my expert opinion, <laughs> no, professional is better. Professional is In my professional opinion, um, what happens is so um, because Acton's leading the way, he's got like the gun trade on, and then the guy comes through, and he just holds out his hand for everyone to stop, uh, so no one moves because we're invisible. So he just sort of like lets what happens happen. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. So it's, Sort of like not army because he's not in the army, but it's a lot of like just wait, 
Don't mm-hmm. move. Okay. Um, then Harkenstone is just going to move forward and basically just grab this librarian by the head and slam his head uh, into the wall until it's goo, pretty much. <laughs> Can, uh, I kind of think I want to do something here that would take out, open, uh, take out Harkenstone. So I think I know what could happen. Or can we just run behind Harkenstone? Are we still invisible? We could just so, sneak past. I, I don't want, I don't well, want a he's... meta game here, so like I, I think I would try and just do... I, I'll talk through the echo, is what I'll do. It's mm-hmm. basically, we have C4. This guy's kind of made of stone. If we can subtly like just attach some C4 to him when we get past and away, you we could just blow him up. I, we could I, just I, blow him up. I would, I would like to attempt... If 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 that's possible, I may be the best person to do that here. Yeah, because I have really good finesse. <laughs> it's okay. not me. Or right. you could just put it on a little robot and let him crawl up his back. And that is crawl. true. I could. Um, Sorry, that was the meta game pigeon again. It's but okay. I'm actually I I would be better at just kind of like sneaking it onto his person with finesse than I would at directing the robot to do it. It's like a Fallout game where you like pickpocket yeah, a grenade into someone. Yeah. I got I got to do that shady, that shady sand or is it shady sand shuffle? Yeah. Okay. Uh yeah, go ahead and make a finesse check to plant some okay. C4 on this guy's back. I I have five, I assume this is risky or is this desperate? This is still risky cuz this is only okay. risky cuz you're invisible. I assume great effect since I'm using fine demolition tools. Um oh. I will give it to you because this guy is made of stone and, like, that's kind of the perfect way to defeat him, so yes. Um, okay. So, uh, while this is happening, because in case this doesn't work, uh, Actor at this point has, like, he's holding, like, this assault rifle with one hand, and in the other hand, he's got, like, a, because um, I've got a fine hand-to-hand weapon, it's basically just, like, a, uh, you know, like, the, um, I, like, guys of Climate Ice have those pickaxes? <laughs> it's oh my one God. of those. <clears throat> nice. I like it. We knew that was a rock. <laughs> I think before any of this happens, Mouse looks over to uh, to Bishop and just kind of like subtly w- raises their hand as in if like come with me moment. Uh, and then Mouse runs past to get beyond these guys before he yes! goes down. Yes, 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 yes. Would anyone like to give me a bonus die for this? I can't afford the stress, dude. Otherwise, that's I fine. Would. I'm, I'm sitting at three dice. Everyone's I'm doing sit- something right now, so you can't I'm, really. I'm, I'm, I'm sitting at three, so let's do this. Everyone ready? Yeah, let's kick it off. Boom. Boom. Okay. <laughs> Play some C4 right. on this guy's back. Nice. <laughs> My audacity. And actually, what I do is uh, is I I motion for for um for bi- sorry for acting to to pass him. Yeah, which I do. And then I, I, I walk past him, and then I hand act in the detonator. Okay. Oh, thank you. Maybe, uh, don't, maybe don't detonate it yet. Maybe we no, no, we're not going to. Don't worry. This seems like a group action of some sort to, like, sneak past him. Um, you are invisible, oh, no, so uh, it will be will... kind of easy, but, you know. Yeah, but I don't think finesse. Mouse can lead this. Mouse can I... lead it. Well, I don't think this would be finesse. I think this is prowl. Yeah. Uh, I have shoot. Prowl, okay. then I, I have, have zero prowl. prowl. I have zero prowl also. Well, oh, no. <clears throat> listen, I don't expect there to be a lot of like technical stuff in this bathhouse, so I'll take the prowl. I'll do it. Okay. I'll do it. <clears throat> Is this controlled, risky, desperate? This will be controlled, and everyone okay. rolls it. Everyone rolls know. it? Oh, God. Because it's a group action. <clears throat> Can I. Because actually, I'd, I'd like to, I'd like to maybe give them the option of doing something finessey. So, um, who doesn't have prowl? I don't. I don't. Uh, what I would suggest then is uh, cause a distraction. So this guy's just come through. The, this is I'm going to do no, this no, in the echo. No, so no, it's no, 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 no. <laughs> Hold on. Let him this do guy it. We can't make noise. Wall. We're invisible. <laughs> no, no, no! Don't make noise. This guy's just come through a wall grab a piece of the wall, throw it back through the hole so it makes a sound. When he turns around, <laughs> slip past him. Okay. It does say employ subtle misdirection. That's why I'm saying. Yeah. All right. Can Will that work? <laughs> um, 
Sure. I was just gonna push myself. <laughs> uh, Acton, go ahead and make the finesse check to like. Give no, no, them no! That. Someone, so I'm oh, gonna okay. prowl. Someone else should do that finesse. Check. I'm, g I'm going to finesse that. <laughs> okay. Stop! Hold on. We're we're doing a group action. I don't think you can split the group actions into multiple th roles, can you? You can. I'm, oh, I'm you gonna can. Say, okay. I'm going to say that's okay to have two people finesse and two people prowl, because you're essentially okay. doing two group actions to get the entire group past this obstacle. So okay. risky standard? Uh, yes. No bonus. Here's, play. here's my. Oh no! Oh, uh. oh Jesus! Uh, it, oh, uh, you you fuck up one of our relationships quickly. No, no, no! no. I was going to say that's not how this works, you guys. No. You can spend an intimacy. I, I got. The, I don't know why I rolled four. Let me do that. Again. It doesn't matter. It, it's as long as one person. It's a group action. As long as one person gets it, it's fine. Oh, okay. Yeah, the people, yeah. the people who fail just take the, just make the person who's leading the action take a stress. Mm -hmm. this, this is the actual role four four. Who's leading the action? I am. Mouse oh, is okay. okay. And this is risk. This is risky or controlled. Uh, this is risky. risky. Okay. All right. I Standard. <clears throat> yeah, I got a five. Okay. Um, so Stephen was leading the finesse group action, right? You were picking up the stone and throwing it. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And Mouse was leading the prowl action. Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. So Mouse gets by fine with that group action, um, but takes one stress because of Acton's <laughs> poor roll. Okay. Um, and uh, Stephen, you got a five, but you don't take any stress because Bishop rolled fine. Um, so that is going to uh, cause a minor consequence. <laughs> Um, in that you're going to actually have to wait for him to, like... Because he hears the rock, like, clatter away. He drops the librarian's body, and, like, he moves out of the way, but he takes up so much space in the hallway that you actually have to wait for him to move a little bit in order to get past him. So that will uh, advance it's, it's, a clock. <clears throat> Okay. Yeah, Steven, Steven's gonna, like, throw his arms out to the side, but, like, kind of in front of Bishop, and, like, slowly, like, walk us around, like that scene in, in Jurassic Park with the T-Rex. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's well cool. done. Okay. But Harkenstone... How, how tall is this guy? Um, I don't know, six foot six to seven, somewhere in that range. Okay. Like, yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking, like, the, um, the mech seats in Fallout 4. The vault suits. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a big dude, but also it's a body and not a, a mech suit. <laughs> sure. Oh, I, w I was thinking, I was thinking this guy. Oh. I wasn't, I wasn't sure when you said massive, <clears throat> whether or not you meant like massive yeah. for a human or like eight feet tall. Yeah. Gotcha. I was, I was imagining Korg as well. I'm not going to Yeah, Korg from Thor. Ragnarok. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um... All right, so you move past uh, Harkin Stone uh, and turn around another corner, um, kind of leading you in further into this bathhouse. You occasionally hear gunfire screams and bits of explosions, uh, though they're now getting quieter as you move further and further in. Um, but as you move into this kind of inner sanctum of the bathhouse, the air around you seems to kind of vibrate and shake a little bit in front of you. Uh, and you see a scrawny elf at the end of the hall uh, has just finished scrawling a few shaky marks of chalk into partially completed sigils, which then crackle to life, glowing with malevolent violet, uh, forming barriers of magical energy that kind of crackle menacingly at you. Uh, I immediately look to Mouse. <laughs> I don't know what you want me to do with this. Come on. Yeah. Well, yeah like, I think I'm going to do something with this. Can I pick up, like, a pencil or something, or, like, something on the ground, like a piece of debris, and just, like, throw it at the barrier and see what happens? Uh, sure. Um, it's, like, it gets caught in the barrier, like, electricity kind of, like, snakes out of the sigils a little bit, twisting it around, uh, crumpling it into, like, this weird, like, almost geometric hexadecimal shape. Uh, which then Eesh. catches on fire, smolders, turns into ash, and disappears. <laughs> so through, through the echo, Acton just says, okay, so don't go in there. 
I love that you could have had the uh, the option that it just like electrocutes it and like turns into ash. But you're like, no, it electrocutes. <laughs> it mangles it into a shape. It sets on fire. It, it basically turns it into a d20 and then it crumbles. <laughs> <laughs> This club has everything. <laughs> does, it have, does, it, does it have Hoombas? <laughs> it has Hoombas. It has fairy drugs. It has <laughs> stone has men. Giant rock people. It has magic walls. <laughs> so are we, uh, the quick question, this, this bathhouse, is it, is it called Boosh? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. You didn't look at the sign. Mary. Is there another way around? Um, through this hallway. Um, well, there's walls that can be like broken down, presumably. Um, or you can go looking for another way through if you like, but that'll take time. That takes so much time. Now, like, it's up to you, dude. Like, well, it's up to you. Well, do it as they do it anyway. Um, what? can you can you get through this? Can can I can I attempt that? Is that something I can attempt without knowing like the the spells? Yeah, you can use a tune to try and like disrupt it if you want. It'll be um, risky though. I have a question. Mm-hmm. You said that it's electricity, right? Mm-hmm. Steven's gonna pull out more C four. You know oh, that my- that <laughs> explosive that is designed to be set off with electricity. This sounds like a terrible idea. It's going to crumple the C4 and then cause it to explode. Even Acton is... I hear, I hear what you're saying. Mouth and... puts their hand out, touches your hand, and takes the C4 from you. <laughs> Steven just kind of looks at you and then pulls out more. Oh my god! <laughs> I feel Where like Steven's you? motto is like, is like, everything can be solved with C4. Yes. And our motto as a group is not everything can be solved with C4, but some things can. There are a few things in life that cannot be solved with the judicious application of explosions. (laughs) Mel says, how about I try this first? And if it doesn't work, then we'll discuss your your solution. Deal. And then Steven makes finger guns at you. (laughs) (laughs) Awful. God. All right. Uh, Okay. Um, so how's Mouse gonna do this? I think Mouse like walks up and like doesn't get doesn't like touch it, but like gets close to the wall, mm-hmm. the magic wall, um, and then like I don't know feels for like a a thing that they can like magically tear open a little bit to like make a doorway. Okay, cool. Yeah, I like that. Uh, go ahead and make an attune check. The record. I was not intending to make this character a magic user when we, when I first started, and now I love it. <laughs> I wasn't inte- I wasn't intending to be a bomb monkey either, but it just kind of happens that way sometimes, man. Hey, don't lie. Uh, are we thinking risky, control, desperate for this? I think this is definitely risky. All right, cool. If anyone else was and doing it, it'd be desperate, but for you, it's risky. Standard effect and two bonus di- or no bonus dice. Uh, no bonus dice. I, I was gonna say I. I don't know if I can help you if you're trying to make a door. If I could advise you on some runic magic. Ooh, you can well, doors, good. doors are my thing. If I could like try and help you, I could take a stress for that and assist. I like that idea too. That's also, do you have fine I was gonna... implementations? Uh, I have a fine wording chalk. Yeah, but I mean, now if if they have arcane implements, but like fine arcane implements, it will help the role. Right. I do not have outcome. I just have regular. Oh, shit. I, I, I'll take a stress and I will assist. I don't know anything about this kind of magic, but if you're making a door, doors are kind of my thing. Yeah, fair um, enough. I if like that it. works for you, Eric. Yeah, go okay. ahead and do it. All right, okay. here we go. I took a stress. Oh, man, I'm so stressed out. Six. Nice. <laughs> Didn't need my help at all. Um, nice. Very good. Uh, yeah, I'm going to say it's the standard effect. Um, so you do kind of like find a seam in the magic because it was kind of like scrawled very hastily and it's kind of jagged and not really well put together uh, that you can kind of like magically tear open and like create a little like portal thin area between the magic barriers themselves that like presumably your friends can squeeze through without exploding hopefully. 
<laughs> Hopefully. Um, actually, if, if <clears throat> in order to not risk them, I think Mouse goes in alone and then walks up to the thing and, and, and wipes away the, the sigil. Okay, sounds good. Oh, that's, oh, that's a good call. All right. Like once mouse is through, they just you know get up there and they get they just destroy the thing. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Okay, so mouse just kind of like pushes it around them until they get to the sigil and then destroy it. Uh, fair yeah. enough. Okay, uh, mouse has done it. You all kind of like see it close behind mouse, and there's like kind of geometric shapes of where mouse used to be for a minute. And you're kind of worried, uh, but then the whole thing kind of shimmers and falls away. Um, and well, I guess you don't see mouse because I, they're invisible. invisible. <laughs> but I um, think Bishop, before they before they go, <laughs> takes another piece of debris and tries to throw it back through again to see it, just to double check. <laughs> it it explodes. No, it, it clatters harmlessly <laughs> through, which is nice. Listen, if we're invisible, it mm-hmm. could also be invisible. <laughs> right. Exactly. Just. Activated the trap. Double checking. Good idea. Okay. okay. Uh, yeah, so you continue down this hallway, um, and uh, the Scarny Elf is nowhere to be seen, uh, but you do finally make it to um, kind of an office door, uh, and you can hear a commotion coming from behind it, um, and it sounds like this is most likely uh, Oakenheart's office. Uh, and it's your I'm choice. So nervous for if some you reason. just want to burst in, or how you guys want to handle this. I think Mouse looks to Acton and just says, "Now's your chance to shine." <laughs> Sorry, hold on. I'm I like I'm just mid changing my thing, uh, my password for my Outlook before I do anything else. It turns out this wasn't the only time someone tried to get access. Is Mouse hacking you, IRL? <clears throat> Sorry. Well, probably, but like it's come from like. Morocco a couple of times this week, and I'm like, oh shit, someone's trying to hack me. <clears throat> Which is not good. Sorry, can we just go back to what we were saying a minute ago? I, I got just distracted. Sure. Um, so yeah, so you so you proceed through the hallway, and you come to this door. It looks like the office door. Um, it's got kind of like this uh, fairy symbol scrawled on it uh, that looks like an oak tree, uh, though it's kind of like very messily like carved into the door. Uh, and you presume mm-hmm. this to be Oakenheart's office, and you hear a commotion coming from inside. Okay. And then, Mouse, and then Mouse turns to you and says, "Was your chance to?" Does, does the door open? Like, is is it locked? <sighs> like, like, I would turn it a little bit. Your foot. <laughs> the door down. I just realized. What did we do with with the stone guy? Did did Acton ever? Press the no, 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 I haven't pressed the button yet. <laughs> Has not pressed the so, button yet. So Acton is just letting this librarian get the crap beaten out of the him. The librarian is dead already. Yeah, his, oh. his head is goop. his head into goop. Oh, okay. Yeah, poor guy. Um, eh, we didn't know. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Sorry. Dark. They knew what oh, Brenda. They knew the risks. Um, <laughs> yeah, the door is unlocked. Like you check the you check the door and the it turns. Is there a keyhole? Um, no, it's not that kind of door, unfortunately. There's no, like, okay. Um, uh, so, listening to the voices, Mm -hmm. how many, and roughly, could I tell how far away from the door they are? Uh, there's about five voices. Um, you can, you can make out, uh, like, maybe two voices and, like, the sound of, like, five or six shuffling feet, um, or at least a group around that size. And it sounds like they're mostly, um, like a standard room's length away. Like they're at the opposite <clears throat> end of whatever this room is. Okay. Now, what thing on here would be grenade? That's a good question. It's not a demolition tool. Why wouldn't it's it? It's not a demolition tool, though, because it's it's not it's not to demolish. Like you don't use it to demolish things. That's like TNT. A grenade is to kill people. That's you know, it's a weapon. I would say it's an unusual weapon. Okay. Oh, oh no, no, that's heavy. I'm going to take that. Um, and then what I'm going to do is... Actually, it's not going to be a grenade. It's going to be a flashbang. Okay. No. Uh, grenade them. Grenade them. I don't know who's there. 
<laughs> like we don't know who's in there at the moment. Just a room full of school children, inexplicably. It, it could quite literally be like three children in there. Like I don't know, and I'm not that much. Hold on, hold on it. Second. It, tur it turns out that the doorway is actually just a gate, and it's to like the local preschool. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, we don't know anything yet, so it's going to be a flashback. Okay, you're going to flashbang <laughs> some preschoolers, got it. Which I think is the opposite of ex escalating things so quickly, because I'm thinking things through before I go in. I know, I'm um, actually, I noticed that. I'm actually appreciating thank it. Thank you. <laughs> on one hand, um, I think you're wrong to do so, because we pretty much know who's in there, but... We know one person is in there. But it could be, like, it could quite literally be Oakenheart and four uh, librarians. At which point, I want to kill them all. I'm not opposed to them dying, but, like, come on. Use the firepower. Um, <clears throat> so what I do is I prime the flashbang, open the door slightly, throw it in, close the door, and I hold the door closed mm -hmm. <clears throat> while it goes off. And then as soon as it goes off, I barge the door open and come in with my weapon and like tell me who's there. <laughs> okay. Uh, go ahead and make a skirmish check to do that. Risky? Uh, yes. Standard. Uh, it will also it will actually be limited in this case. Oh, because he's not looking. Hey. It has to do with the tier difference, pretty much. Oh, okay. Okay, but you do do it. Um, and that creates a clock here for uh, goons. I had goons. Um, ah. Preschool goons. Not preschool goons. Oh my goodness. Um. So yeah, limited effects. So it's only one uh, slice of this. Uh, so you do flashbang them though, um, and as you open the door again, weapon drawn, uh, you see that it is occupied um, by a group of soldiers, all clad in black, uh, wielding some machine guns. Uh, you have definitely caught them by surprise and flashbanged them. They're just kind of starting to recover from it. Um, okay, so I immediately go in, and as soon as I see them, I... So there's five of them, right? Yes. So I go in, and I'm hoping someone comes in with me, because there's five of them. Um, <clears throat> but I go in, and I just start firing. So I, I fire at them, and then the closest one, I'm just going to hatch it. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Um, you notice, uh, as you're kind of in this moment, that they bear a striking similarity... Uh, to the soldiers you confronted in the goblin market. Um, Ooh. And Wait. they... Uh, they weren't Illuminati, were they? Nah, well, you didn't know who they were, actually. I don't think you ever figured that out. You just ran from oh, right. <clears throat> Steven has no understanding because he wasn't at the goblin market. Mm -hmm. No, he went back to Ikea for some reason. And it looks like they were busying themselves with something uh, along the black wall, along the back wall opposite the door. Um, and you do see... Wait, so they won't... Oh, I, I kind of don't think I should fire then. <laughs> no, they, they attacked us first. It, yeah, it's fine. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do what I said I was going to do. Okay. Uh, I will say that Oakenheart is there as well. Uh, you can make him out by his he distinctive... Yep. The... Yeah. Uh, bark-like skin. <laughs> and he too is kind of... He's been flashbanged pretty bad, but he's kind of like <clears throat> reaching around for a heavy rifle and getting ready he's to fight. He's the guy I hatch it. Okay, so you're gonna like throw the hatchet across the room at him. Yeah, I'm, that's legitimately what I'm gonna do. Oh my god! All right, gotta make it look a little cool. Uh, go and make a skirmish check. Skirmish? Does anyone want to help him uh, out with this? <clears throat> Is anyone it, else uh, coming in firing? I'll help with the, uh, the with the one lighter you yell as you throw it. Can you, can you yell timber as you throw it? At <laughs> I mean, I definitely will do that. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but is anyone helping me? Because like, I imagine this is what I imagine is now the boss fight. So if you aren't going to help fight, then there's no point in you being here. Well, I wow. I am trying to think of... Wow, okay. I mean, I did help a lot on the way in here, but okay, no, what whatever. I mean is, is we came here to kill this guy. Now that we're at this guy, if you don't help kill this guy, what the fuck? I will point out you're still holding the detonator. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, but that guy's not here. That's fine. Holding two detonators, actually. <laughs> Well, I'm not holding one of them. Steven's still got the other one. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> um, I'm not going to help you on this particular move unless you're leading a group action. If that's what you well, mean. Well, I'm just going. I'm going in firing. So if you guys are f and also going to start firing, are you going to jump? Are you going to jump and then fire? 
No, I, I'm going low when I, when I go in because that's what you do when you're in front. You go low. Oh, I was I was thinking we're gonna fire a gun whilst jumping through the air. I'm not I'm not gonna do that. That's that's very bad for aiming. <laughs> no, it looks like I'm on my own. So okay, <laughs> all right. <laughs> you're so the one. Well, okay. I mean, uh, anyway, we we are not combat people. With no, I know. <laughs> we're putting ourselves in serious danger. Okay. Yeah, because I'm not. Um, okay, so risky. You uh, were risky. a cop. This will be standard effect because you have a fine rifle that you're using. <clears throat> yep. Uh, go ahead. Five. Five. Okay, not bad. <clears throat> um, so this, uh, you do uh, quickly drop one of the goons, uh, and you manage to, <clears throat> like, implant this uh, hatchet into uh, Oakenheart's shoulder, uh, and he <clears throat> screams in pain and rage. Uh, as sap kind of pours out of the wound a little bit. Um, so we'll tick that I up. I think, like, Bishop's, like, obviously, like, we know why we're here, but Bishop's not combat trained, so she can try and just, like, shoot a pistol in the direction of... Yeah, that's why I imagine. Goons, then, but... <laughs> okay. Um, not combat trained. Meanwhile... I didn't imagine you should, like, barrel roll in and then, like, you know, like, yeah, I get it. Meanwhile, two of the goons are still busying themselves with something at the wall uh, while Acton is kind of making his assault. Uh, so that other clock is going to tick up and it's getting pretty close Can... to full. Yeah, yeah, I think it's time for me to click the button, guys. Yeah, do it. Steven's going to click the button. Okay. So is you're it gonna the mushroom button? Both? The mushroom button. The mushroom button. Okay. Yeah, I don't have the other one. I have the other one. But he's not here at the moment, so that's fine. Uh, so there's the distant sound of a sh of a f fushing, and you're pretty sure it worked. Like this room does not immediately burst into flames, uh, <clears throat> but now there is fire. So we'll create a clock for that. Guys, it's okay. I have a way out. <clears throat> yeah, it's fine. Uh, so really, my <laughs> like my I I put like an unusual weapon. Does that mean I get like other grenades, or do I have to take another load for every grenade I have? Um. <clears throat> I well, it was a flashbang. If you wanted to use another yeah, flashbang, but... you could just keep using flashbangs. But if you want to take a grenade, I would say it would be another load for another unusual oh, okay. weapon. Never mind. <clears throat> uh, never mind. Uh, I think what I do next is so I've got in, started firing. I threw the hatchet at uh, Open Heart. Mm -hmm. um, the first thing I'm going to do when I get in is try and find cover because I'm not an idiot. Mm -hmm. um, so I get behind something. I imagine we're in his office, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I'm just like going to tip over like the desk that he has, and I'm just, I'm behind it. Um, mm -hmm. And then I pop out uh, and I go for the two guys doing something with the wall. Okay, sounds good. Um, does anyone want to help or do anything before Acton does this? Yeah, I think I'm firing at the guys at the wall. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I think I think Mouse is too. All right. Um, do to do. So this can either be leading a group action, or one of you can assist Acton with this. I think assisting me is what you're. No, I think we're all doing it. So I think I'm leading a group action to fight. Sure. That would mean you would take on the stress for every failure. Do you have uh, that ability? I have three stress. Oh, so not... three stress you're, you're, you're left have... or? Yeah, three stress left. Oh, that's different. Probably not, a, probably not a great idea then. Yeah. Okay, then just someone else. Then yeah, if, we'll just if assist. Gonna, if you get eliminated from our from our team this time, that's not <laughs> good. For us. Yeah, yeah, that's bad. real bad. Yeah, I will assist. Game over, man. Game take. over. Okay. Um, I think I will. I think I will. Fi uh, I will fire at the people if you if, if you want to help me. Um, that would be helpful, Bishop. <clears throat> yeah, um, but that's fair. I took a stress like... for someone, so someone decide who takes it. <laughs> I think, I think, it, yeah, Mouse takes the stress. Is this risky, controlled, desperate? <clears throat> well, let me do mine first, so... Mm -hmm. Acting, Mine's... yours will be risky, uh, standard effect. Six. Six? Six. Nice. Okay. We were rolling, like, decent today, she said, right before they all started rolling badly. 
Okay, two sides. All right, uh, so yeah, so you, you drop two of the goons uh, that were doing something over by the wall. Uh, Can we no. see what that is yet? Not quite yet. <laughs> Mouse? Is this risky control desperate? Uh, this will be risky, and it will be limited effect. <clears throat> But one bonus die, so that's good. Here we go. Five. Not bad. Okay. Uh, yeah. So you take out the last goon, um, but the consequence is that they slump forward onto something that looks suspiciously like a detonator. Um, oh no! <laughs> so both We've of been these clocks will fill. Game. Yep. <laughs> both these clocks will fill unless you guys want to resist this consequence. Of this filling, uh, I think Mouse will do it, and Mouse will. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so stupid. Mouse is gonna go up there and try to try to deactivate it. Okay. <gasps> red wire. Red wire. <laughs> oh my red god. Red wire. All right, this will be, um, I believe, probably prowess or. I was thinking tinker. Um. Well, because it's a resistance roll. Because it's to resist a consequence. Um, Actually, it would probably be insight, though. To disarm whatever this is. Insight into... Oh my gosh, you guys. We believe in you. Do I get bonus dice? Or is it just a flat? It's just resistance. Yeah. I believe in God now. Hold on, hold on. Before you roll. uh, I was saying we could spend intel. On resistance rolls? Yeah, add one bonus die to resisting a consequence. Explain what piece of intel gives you the advantage. Uh, they know Steven. <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to say there? I, um, I don't think I'm saying anything out of turn here. I think if Eric's cool with it, I think we could have done some research ahead of time to like, into like their spending mm-hmm. and, saw that, and saw that there was an explosive here somewhere. That's fine. If you guys want to spend a point of intel for that, I'll give you an extra die on this. Yeah. All right, okay. Cool. Yeah, let's do that. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so stressed out. Here we go. Three. Oh. Three. All right. So you take three stress. stress. What are you that, at? That brings me up to nine. Okay. <laughs> so I just barely. More. All right. Ooh. But you do manage to disarm it in time. Um, and oh. you have... Uh, killed the last of the goons um, and kind of decked Oakenheart out on the ground. Uh, he's got a full, a few bullet holes in him, leaking sap everywhere. Uh, and he kind of coughs uh, a mixture of like blood and uh, dark gooey sap out. He says, who even are you? <laughs> <laughs> um, uh... I'm a doctor. <laughs> no, he's oh, not. <laughs> I, I well, to be fair, like he can't really see us. We're just like shimmers. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, but uh, I imagine what uh, actor does is he bends down, grabs the hatchet, and pulls it out of um, pulls it out of Oakenheart. He screams. Um, yeah, and then <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys, but he just goes uh, with the messengers, bitch, and then just like um, hatches him <laughs> in the face. <laughs> That's kind of a cool, like, closing shot, so that's yeah. fine. We get the Quentin Tarantino, like, from the trunk, like, up look, and he yeah. just, like, <laughs> he's just, like, we're the messengers, bitch. Whack! Whack. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Actually, I, I, I go for the heart. He's open heart. Mm-hmm. Like, sort of symbolism there. So I, I hatch him right in the chest where his heart is. Mm-hmm. Presumably. Okay. Well, yeah. Uh, he groans as you bury the hatchet quite literally, ah! in his chest. Ah. Um, and then slumps over dead. Um, um, one of uh, the goons has a radio on him uh, that's crackling uh, intermittently uh, with um, a feminine voice in Russian comes over it occasionally. Uh, like shouting like the same word over and over again but i don't think you guys speak russian uh, no. oh, i happen to have a universal translator <laughs> oh shit he does 
Oh, yeah, you do. So Yep. Yeah, <laughs> message delivered. Um yeah, so add that to your load. Um and uh yeah, you can translate it. Um it sounds like the voice is saying report, report, uh get Oakenheart out of there. Report. You said that does the universal translator that I have work both ways? Like if I speak into it, can I have it translate out a different message, or does it only work inbound? Um, I'm not sure we <laughs> said. Um, I mean, I for the sake I of... Think, I think actually it's a universal translator both ways, because we did say, because we said uh, either way, it's Stephen. It's voice. just my voice. Right, right, yeah, we did say that. Uh, so but actually, I don't, both, think, both ways. I don't think we should respond in Russian. I just think... Um, I just think uh, I pick up the I pick I pick up the handset and in sort of like secretary voice I'm like I'm sorry I can't come to the phone right now if you'd like to leave a message please wait after the tone and then I just throw the uh, radio somewhere you crush it you throw it on the floor and you step on it and crush it <laughs> oh, okay yeah okay very nice all right um, so quippy today yes very quippy. Um, so yeah, this is like the most John Wick we've ever been. It, it yeah. is pretty was, John I Wick. Was, I was absolutely expecting you to pick up the to pick up the radio <laughs> and, and and recite the Liam Neeson taken monologue, <laughs> 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 and I was going to be really upset with you. <laughs> <laughs> Means nothing. All right, so um, the building is still on fire, but <clears throat> this scenario is pretty much wrapped up. You guys can get out of there. Rebecca can open a door. You can regroup with the librarians, but you've pretty much accomplished uh, your objective. I want to look around the office. Oh, you want to look wait, around? Before, okay. Real quick, before we leave, though, we have one more detonation. We yeah. Can... You know, don't worry. Damn I'm, button. <laughs> oh, I was going to do it as we go through the door, but okay, fine. I um, I, 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 I just press the button. Um, and now I just imagine in the distance you just hear a... <laughs> we just hear, like, screaming. <laughs> you hear, what the... Boom, and then screaming. <laughs> oh my yeah, God. on that one, I put actually the it, that one was a special uh, bomb where instead of it going off immediately upon clicking it, it actually goes beep, 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 ding, and then <laughs> explodes. It's such a steep thing to do. <laughs> Horrible people. Oh, that's so evil. I will point out that Blades in the Dark is designed for us to play criminals. That's yeah. true. Uh, I was the reason I didn't press it. Like the reason I didn't press it is I was kind of waiting for like an actual like uh, a confrontation with Oak and Hart where he calls the backup, and then as he calls the backup, I press the detonator and I'm just like, no, sorry, he's not coming. Yeah, that would have been pretty <laughs> funny. Right, that's the only reason I didn't press it this entire time. <laughs> okay. Um... All right. I will spend two stress to get us out mm -hmm. of this fiery burning building. I do not but, care about wanna... the brains getting out. You want to look no, around but I am, this office? I am, I am quickly checking around the office. See if there's anything we need. <clears throat> Same. Um, look for tech. Look for tech. That's exactly what I'm doing. Don't worry. All right. Well, there there isn't going to be any tech in here, um, but you can do a gather information check real quick if I remember how that works. Oof. Uh, uh, isn't it just a fortune roll? I think it might just be a fortune roll. Let's see. All right. Should, Hold uh, on. Who's doing it oh do both me and nick do it because we're it's like a group action no there's one fortune roll that he's going to do for us okay all right gather information oh you can make an action <laughs> roll or a fortune roll so either i can make a fortune roll for you guys or you guys can like use study or survey or something like that if you like i'm, I'm, I'm terrible in insight so nick you want to do I, something i will do study okay go ahead and make the roll Controlled, risky, desperate, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Standard effect. Go. Three. Eh. <laughs> I was, like, less concerned about this one. Yeah. Okay. Um, what you find is some half-burned papers uh, that make reference um, to uh, a place. But why are they half-burned? Like, because someone was burning them. Oh, Okay. Uh, that make reference to um, something named Uranev and a place called the Nicholas Street uh, the Nicholas Street Jail. 
You're in okay. Nicholas Street. For those of us who have lived in Toronto for a while, is, does Nicholas Street Dale? That's not a, a a Toronto thing. That is a yeah mystical thing. Okay. Um, it is outside Toronto. It is a real place. Oh, I'm already googling it. It's Ooh. spelled G O A L instead of Jail or G A O L. Um, oh. Oh. It's out in Ottawa. And, or Ontario. And, yeah. And what was the guy's name? Yeah. Ye- Uranev. 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 Mm-hmm. I wrote it all down. Those, all those Russians. Oh, I just remembered that when we were at <clears throat> the load the uh Oh, it's a hostel. The uh laundromat that hard rocky skin man was there. Mm-hmm. Now we've come across him again. And the, well, I guess. Well, that's, that's the last time we're ever going to come across him, more than likely. Yeah. I kept trying to get and you I guys suppose- to fight this guy, and you never did. <laughs> no, because he could kick our ass. <laughs> <laughs> He's literally a stone man. But what? It's fine. I'm an Uber driver <laughs> <laughs> who can sometimes do little magic. <laughs> All right. So let's move into um, downtime real quick here. Real, Real quick, really can we? Oh, go ahead. Mm-hmm. Can we? Oh, no, never mind. Never mind. I, I, I was never mind. Ignore. Me. I was just gonna say it's funny how like at the end of every, if you, these are like episodes, it's almost like a little bit '90s where we go on this adventure and then we all like fall through the door of wherever we were into the black site and slam mm-hmm. it and go, whew. That was it's an very, adventure. You know what it is? It's like it's like at every episode of Sliders. Like at the end of it, we always go through the like the portal to somewhere new. I always I imagine. Um, Has no one watched Sliders? No, I, I know what Sliders is. Oh, okay, thank God. Thank I imagine that. like right, if it was a sitcom, like Ramla would be there with like Pigeon or something. <laughs> and as you guys tumble through, she would like be like, "Oh, here we go again," and like roll your <laughs> eyes, and there'd be like a cheesy laugh track. <laughs> I love it. Mm-hmm. Um, can I just say? So I don't know if this is during downtime, but. I think actually throughout this uh, record, your and I, yours and my uh, re- relationship maybe improves a little bit because a lot of what I was doing was not was actually like thinking stuff through. Like I didn't immediately fight the rock guy. I was like actually with your plan when it came to doing the. Okay, um, but a lot of those times <clears throat> you said in Echo, and you said before you Ash said before Acton <laughs> said it in Echo. <laughs> I'm going to do this crazy thing. And then we were like, maybe don't. <laughs> but yeah, but Ash did. <laughs> well, not the rock guy didn't. And not the flashback. That was all me. Thank you very much. For for the sake of role playing, uh, Acton, do you, Ash, do you want to have Acton say to Rebecca, look, I made the effort to... Oh, no, I don't think he did. I don't think he would have done it for her. <laughs> <That> was, <laughs> was, like... To, to, to be fair, like the only reason Acton did any of that was because that's just solid tactics. That wasn't like it just it was just like it was good tactics. He's not an idiot. He's not going to go up against the guy made out of stone. Like he's so going to get beat. So wait, it's more like we get back and they're like, Do you-, you know, you showed a lot of restraint in some moments where I, I thought you wouldn't. And Acton goes, yeah, I was just tactically better that way. <laughs> yeah, I imagine like, that's exactly what it is. It's like, yeah, no, that's yeah, it was common sense. Like, well, OK. <laughs> <laughs> that is fixing the problem in the most literal sense, but also the most minor sense. So, like, I guess I'll give you guys one tick for that. Yeah, give us just one. We don't deserve more than that. No, God, no, I don't deserve more than that. Yeah, fair enough. We're seven? What the fuck, Ash? We're at five. Yeah. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. All right. Our so relationship has been one of my favorite things to run. <laughs> it really has been great. Um, it has been pretty great. So it's been mostly. Why are you like this? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Because. So Stephen is going to uh, work in his surveillance modifier. Yeah. Uh, one second. Let me do payoff and stuff. Um, oh yeah. Gotcha. So Woo-hoo! you guys yeah. earn two rep by default, plus one per rep per higher tier. Uh, so that goes up to three rep. Um, nice. Minus one for lower tier. So you guys gain three uh, rep for this. Um, so we go up one and then... Yeah. That way? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, and 
I'm not sure you guys got a lot of coin out of this, though, because it wasn't you weren't actually <laughs> robbing the place; you were so, blowing something up. So, uh, Eric, do we go up a tier because, or whatever? Because we get one, and then the rest are grayed out, and then it's two more, right? So we should be there now on the next one. Let me take a look. <clears throat> so we were there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the grayed out there. the grayed out ones you still need to fill. <clears throat> oh yeah. Oh okay. So we're there. Mm. Oh. No, because the grayed out ones are turf, aren't they? Yeah, the turf one, the turf lowers how much you need to get. Got it. So, like, because you had one, <clears throat> shit. Oh my god, where were we? That's that's exactly we where go. we are. That's where we. There are. we go. Stop touching it. <laughs> All right. Well, everyone but Eric, stop touching it. <laughs> Eric was the only one touching it there. I was. I I kind of screwed that up a little bit. So oh. yeah. So that's where you are. You're fine. Just let me blame Ash. <laughs> the laser boys. <laughs> what? Fair enough. Oh yeah, that's why I called us. The laser boys. Fair enough. Um, so that's how much rep you get. I think you're only probably going to get like two coin from this because you were kind of you <clears throat> you used a lot of resources to do this and yeah. with, like explosives and shit like that and like and that wasn't really... really the goal. Mm. And we didn't get high end tech at the end of it. We didn't come out with anything. Yeah. <laughs> Should have sold the drugs. <clears throat> what are we talking no, about? No, we shouldn't have, but that's okay. I think we bolstered our cruise reputation. Oh, wait, no, we're not, we're not talking about XP. No, we're not. Thanks, Lord. Okay, so oh. what do you want to do with the two coin? Do you just want to put it in the uh, crew bank? Yeah. I said just put it in the crew bank, yeah. yeah. Okay. I, I'll put it in. Sounds After good. After this, we're going to have to invest in some vaults or spend our. Mm. Coin. Um, let's look at heat real quick. Sorry, but, uh, <laughs> I mean, we did set a building in Toronto on fire. To be fair, a lot of the it. building itself is not on fire. I didn't take that devil's bargain. Mm -hmm. Just the drugs oh, burned. Right. Oh, but also, right. also, I actually think because we had the librarians make all the noise, the, pe the only people who knew we were there are now dead. And then the librarians. So if anyone's going to get the heat from this, it would be the librarians. Good point. That is a good point. Okay, so I won't <laughs> but do... But they know. <laughs> I won't do four. Yeah, but they're fine. I will do two. Uh, because the librarians took some heat from you. Um, but it was on hostile turf, and there was killing involved. So that's going to bring it up oh, yeah, to five. Um, and, it, and, I, and I think the idea of the Wait, so it's gone from two, uh, two to five? Yeah. Holy shit. Because yeah, I think, the, mm -hmm. I think part of the idea of heat too is that just be, just because we, we no one knew we were there it doesn't mean that our exploits don't get around. Yeah, there were a lot yeah. of witnesses in that we had uh, some of the librarians there who probably spread word that we were there. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so that goes up to f that goes up five. So that's it. We're wanted. Um. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five. Um, is it if it goes past ten or if it goes? Let me see, real quick. How does heat work? Is that is, does it work the same way as stress? Where if you if as it long as you fills don't go over or if it is it if you don't go over? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Um. Uh. We'll find. <clears throat> Here we go. Your heat rebel leech reaches nine. Uh, so it's not if you go over; it's once you hit it. Um, so okay. your it's not your resonance; it's your it's not your wanted level; it's your resonance um, that increases by one. And what this is is, a... is this is a new mechanic that you guys haven't really hit on before yet, um, which where it basically represents how much attention the conspiracy and the Stygian is paying to you and how much you kind of show up on their radar. So it does make things a little harder for you guys going forward, uh, unless you right, bring it right, back right. down. Got to do so that. Two things. Mm -hmm. Two things. Is, it, is that also the same rule for stress? No, reducing heat is uh, reducing heat. No, 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 no. The rollover thing, I think, is oh. the question. Um, I'm going to. Right... 
my stress right now is maxed out, which is why I'm out. Either way, for now, I'm not going to make you take a point of trauma because you did that with the understanding of, like, it was different. So it would be kind of unfair to, like, change it now. <clears throat> also, also, I think every time we've done stress, it's not when you hit nine, it's when you go over nine. Yeah, so mm. even if it's something, if it, even if it's the other way, it's if you go over for now. <clears throat> okay, cool. Okay. Uh, second, we haven't even talked, we have never talked about the Stygian in, uh, so yeah. far in... Yeah in the game. Do you want to talk to us a little bit about it? Right, yeah. Um, so the Stygian uh, is basically the ancient enemy of the messengers. Um, if the Echo is what uh, is kind of the good side of what everyone hears and like the inner monologue that builds you up and like <clears throat> makes you feel better about yourself, uh, the Stygian is the negative side of that. It is uh, the whisper at the back of everyone's mind that they're not good enough, that they're weak, um, that they should hate other people, that they should try and destroy things. Um, it goes back into messenger lore and history that it is, in fact, a physical thing. Somewhere at the bottom, bottom of the ocean, there is this eldritch beast uh, that kind of generates this psychic energy and twists and mute dumb horror um so it's kind of cthulhu um and the presence of the stygian in a city is kind of what arouses the messenger's suspicion and kind of the mission of the messengers is to defeat the stygian and to uh defeat its influence um and this conspiracy may or may not but probably may uh, have something to do with the Stygian. Uh, the Stygian just, is usually at the center of all conspiracies. Yeah, we just probably don't know about it yet because we're relatively low-level messengers. <clears throat> right, exactly. Uh, yeah, all, are we babes? Yeah, all messengers kind of get a little quick spiel about the Stygian, but not everyone knows 100% all the details about it. Um, so yeah. Cool. A few quick things. Uh, resonance. So, do 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 do. Um, this will start kicking in later. Um, oh, wait, no. I did design this right the right way. At the end of each score, each player takes an amount of stress equal to their current resonance, representing the effort required to fight off the Stygian's growing psychic connection to them. Uh, the stress may not cause a relationship to become damaged or cause any trauma. It can only fill up the stress track and then stop. Um, so everyone except Mouse effectively gains one stress uh, because your resonance has increased. And this represents kind of occasionally you start hearing these whispers or these having these dark thoughts uh, that are the Stygian exerting influence over you. Um... <clears throat> so yeah that's the heat and the stygian what's up next uh entanglements yes let's look at entanglements real quick <laughs> you're right there I, I just love end game stuff where it's like ah the heat you have the you have. <laughs> yeah it's a, it's a lot of stuff um here we go. Faction entanglements. So, do Okay. Um, so your heat goes down to zero. Um, because so that at least is good. Um, but we still do roll your tier uh, to determine what entanglements you have. Do do do. And your tier is one. So we're gonna roll one die, and it's a result of one. That means gang trouble or the usual suspects. It's actually a different thing. I've got my Ow. own chart for the game. Um, oh dang it! What it is is it's time heals all wounds. Uh, regain one d six favor with a rival faction that you haven't acted against recently. Uh, do you guys have any factions that are pissed off at you right now? I don't think so. Well, I, I, I imagine Oakenheart's faction. <laughs> yeah, he's not really a faction. He's. Well, and no, that well, would... I meant the, the Russian person who was. 
Yeah, but you've acted against them recently, so mm. that's not really going to help you guys out I think much. We, do. we haven't really acted against anyone specifically. We've been kind of walking the line. Yeah. We killed like five we've, of their guys. We, we've also acted against everyone, <laughs> and that's also true. no one. <laughs> yeah, uh, we're centrists. Mm-hmm. Um, um, but yeah, you. So that doesn't have any effect right now. You don't have any entanglements there. Um, five stress goes to three points on the retaliation clock. Well, well. Because uh, it's half two less. the heat. Oh, never mind, I lied. Nope. You don't have that ability yet? No. Okay. No, I, no, I, no, I have the one where it's now a, a 10 clock instead of a... 12. Yeah. Um, or instead of an 8. 12. Yeah. Cool. Um, I think that's everything except your guys' downtime actions. Hooray! So I will say this, guys, we should totally like work towards getting co- uh, cover operation from the Illuminati tree because it's minus one favor lost permission. Mm-hmm. Mm. Which would be really nice. Also, also, the next time we get an upgrade, we need to put it in rock rigging because I was real dangerously close to not having any um, <laughs> any load. Oh, uh, also, your uh, y- you get you gain some favor with the librarians, of course, yeah, because um, you kill or permanently inca- in- incapacitated a monstrosity or a demonic be- being, which they consider Oakenheart to be. Also, I imagine. Who does Romla have a faction? Uh, the court, yes. So I imagine we gain a lot of stuff with them as well because we're going we to complete the mission they gave us. Uh, we're going to deal with that when on in the next session because okay. there's going to be like boons and stuff that you guys get because you're going to go talk to the court presumably. Ooh, ooh. Um, we, yeah. solved, we solved our big. We solved our big first thing. <laughs> Finally! Guys, trip by five! <laughs> well done. Someone didn't do a high five. Okay. So now it's down time for the rest of you. Ow. I know what I'm doing. Okay. Get rid of that stress. <laughs> I'm going to indulge my vice. Uh, and, and if I have enough, if I indulge enough of it that I'm gonna try and reduce... Well, I guess heat, our heat's at zero, right? Yes. Okay. Then, yeah. I'm gonna indulge by and if I have enough over, then I'll tr- left over, then I'll train. By the way, I found out, apparently, I don't know if it, it it's the same here, but... Uh, the same in, in this modified version of it, but in Blades in the Dark, apparently stress and you don't indulge your vice, then you take stress. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, Which like is insane because if you have like one stress on you, and you 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 either, you either take more stress or you overindulge. I think the idea is yeah. that you're criminals and addicts, whereas in this you're less that. So you're not. It's not a thing you have to do. Okay. It's just a good idea to indulge your right. not a vice a tether. So yeah. Okay. Clear three okay. stress. Uh, I did, and I'm at five stress, so now I'm thinking I might do it again, but if I roll a six, I'm in trouble. Wait, if I roll a five and I clear it to zero, that's not overindulging, right? That's not overindulging. It's only if you go over. What are the chances I'm going to roll a six? I know it's one in six. six. (laughs) Why did you say it? They're one in six. (laughs) But I'm just saying, rhetorically, it's not that big of a deal. No, just do it. Oh my god, if I roll a six, I I'm going to be so upset. <clears throat> okay. I'm happy with that. Okay. <laughs> a three. I literally had my eyes closed and was just like peeking between the cracks. Okay, I'm good. Right down um, the middle. I kind of want to spend stash to... Tr- no, uh, I'm good. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Okay. Uh, I have an idea. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think Mouse, uh, as per usual, um, starts uh, doing the uh, the scam they do with all the money, uh, just to once again funnel money to that uh, that youth group or that youth home. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, and uh, 
<laughs> while they're while they're doing this, they get to thinking about uh, their past with this uh, related to this youth home. Uh, so uh, first, I'm gonna do my first one. I have to do this twice, which is why I'm saying this. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was going to say, I didn't put any flavor on my indulging vice, and I just want to say Bishop runs out and buys, like, a shit ton of booze and champagne because it's, like, their first real job that they finish, and she, like, parties it up with you guys. <laughs> also, sorry, before, before we get to Mouse, we didn't do uh, Wreckers XP. Uh, we do that at the we end of the it. session. Oh, okay. Bye -bye. And here we go. Five. That's not bad. Nice, 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 nice. Nice. I don't know why I, don't know why I did that way and not had it. Sorry. In, yeah. That's right. So that's five. Uh, and then Mouse will do it again. Um, but this time, while, like, while Mouse is, is clicking away at their computer, um, they get to thinking about their past, and they decide that it's time to go and visit uh, the youth home. <gasps> oh, that's nice. Uh, so Mouse is going to visit uh, their old friend Harper to try to make amends for uh, the past. Okay. Um, what, what's our time limit again today? We have roughly 18 minutes. Okay. Um, I will have something for you regarding Harper next session. I will make a note of that, and we'll flash okay. back to it. Cool. What, what uh, thing should I do for the... I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah. I, I don't get a bonus die, though. Yeah. Uh, three. So I'm down to one. Yay! Nice. Nicely done. Okay. Act in her, nice. Steven. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, so, yeah, I, I'm going to um, uh, spend the time... Uh, uh, spend the time, like, the downtime, uh, honestly kind of doing what I would do in real life and like uh acting like goes out buys like essentially like a PS4 and just plays video games <laughs> uh, essentially all he does is like video games take out and he just chills nice I like it right <clears throat> clears three why do I, why do I take, oh it's like okay, cool uh so I clear three I've got four left, and I'm trying to think if I do it and again. I kind of want to train. I also took that out of rep, and that was the wrong place, Ash. Wrong place. Uh, no, I'm going to do it again. Oh, this is worrying. You have four left. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, oh, boy. No. Why? No, Why? the bad thing. I also critted. I critted. It doesn't... Wait, what if you crit and overindulge? Um, you I... fucking overindulge. You basically do what that Korean Damn. guy did in World of Warcraft and you die playing the video game. <laughs> <laughs> die in the game, you die for real. Um, do, 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 do. Oh my gosh. I'm kind of trying to think how this would... what overindulging in this would look like because i imagine it would just be either one i become really unhealthy because i ate too much takeout or two i become lazy because i didn't get off the couch at that time. i think it's probably either it, and i'll i'll give this choice to use you ash you can make another character and have acton be lost <gasps> for a little <clears throat> bit um or we can do tapped which basically means you can't indulge your vice until you like make a check to get another vice oh. vendor because you've basically like run out of cash essentially. How do you do the vice vendor thing? Huh? How do you like do a vice vendor? Like how do you, you said like you have to roll for a vice vendor. I was like, what, how do you do that? Um, yeah, I'm trying to think how that'll work. Um, cause the game, I don't think even blades in the dark makes it really clear. Um, cause I think the idea is like, you would have to like look around town and get a new one. Um, I'm not. I'm not sure that tapped even really works for this game. Yeah, I'm not sure it does either. Um, Cause, yeah, because like like you were saying, the like the, the base game is supposed to be about people who are like <clears throat> essentially addicts, and yeah. they have they have to have a a vice vendor to fix their issues. And in mm -hmm. this game, we don't really have those. 
Yeah, I, I, the, the, the problem is I don't know what, what <clears throat> attracting trouble would look like or bragging would in this situation. Oh, I, yeah. I could totally see Ash. I could totally see Acton bragging. Oh, <laughs> bragging <laughs> online over Xbox. Oh my, yeah, that's exactly what he's <laughs> <I'm> like. <"Geez." laughs> he's, he's online playing some game that's very similar to what we just did, and everyone's like, "You suck," and he's like, "Oh yeah, let me tell you about what I just fucking did." I I'm got, a tier like, one play, operator. I'm, like, I'm playing Payday Two or something where I've robbed a bank, and I'm like, "Tell you what, bitches." <laughs> Wait, and You're then somebody dead, like. Kiddo. <laughs> You know swatting like the bad one where you like call the SWAT on someone who like didn't do anything wrong? This is the good kind of swatting where they call like, yo, I think this dude just admitted to killing a bunch of people in Toronto. I don't, this one seems messed up. This one seems real. All right. <laughs> so yeah, we'll do plus two heat from, for your overindulgence. Sorry, oh, guys. Oh my God, you like, fool. I mean, let's be honest. How would I have known I would have fucking critted? Oh uh, boy, that was pretty great. <laughs> I was getting so ready to roll another character, and I was like, oh, four no. or less. <clears throat> All right, Steven? Uh, well, Steven is going to indulge in mm -hmm. some novelty. He's going to go looking for some awesome new stuff. And by new stuff, I mean he's going to replenish his C4 that got taken away. <laughs> he's at the Home Depot picking up. Mother <laughs> fucker. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh my God. Oh my God. So you're just going to go down to Home Depot and buy some C4, huh? No, I do That's... it online, but... Right, like, <laughs> without, like, you didn't, like, uh, enact Mouse's security protocol, so basically you just, like, Amazon C4 to yourself, <laughs> which is absolutely tracked through, like, UPS. Like, what's, our, what's our heat at? Uh, it's a two. A million two. now. Now, okay, it'll be so... a, now, now it goes to four. <laughs> no, 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 the other option is roll an, tra roll an entanglement. Yeah, I, I I was thinking either it's plus two to heat or it'll be plus two the to this Illuminati trace as the entanglement. Uh what what's our entanglement trace at? It's at one I'll, do, I'll, do, I'll do plus two to Illuminati trace. Okay. That's the, the less that's the less bad option. Is it? Because we can decrease the Illuminati trace. We could also decrease heat, dude. Yeah, but I feel like because that's the thing. If I if I take the heat, then that dr that uh, jumps us up to the point where rolling future entanglements are worse. Yeah, that's true. So if we end up roll, so if we have to roll entanglements, they're gonna be worse. If the Illuminati trace is an entanglement that's already existing, and making that worse, I feel is the, the better choice here. Okay. Fair enough. On the plus side, the doc is super not stressed. <laughs> <laughs> Makes more and, rubber duckies. Uh, yeah, and I'm gonna work on my oh. my long term project surveillance modifier. It mm -hmm. only has one tick, so I physically can't not do it. Yeah. So I'm gonna add that to my known edges then. Mm -hmm. You're all set. You discover how to add surveillance tech to your little drone buddies. <clears throat> nice. Have you guys seen on the Nintendo Labo stuff, you know, the little car one? When you put the Joy-Con in the thing that, like, makes it buzz around, obviously, uh, you can look through the infrared camera on the Joy-Con. So it's basically like a little spy spider that just oh, vibrates Jesus. around on your table. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh. I'm also a child, and I really want the Nintendo cardboard. <laughs> it does I look mean, good. I, I think it's it. out. But I think like, it came out yesterday or today, didn't it? It came out 420. I don't it's get it. 69.99 like... <laughs> on 420. What a meme. <laughs> this is how I know so much about Nintendo. <laughs> Good. All right. Um, so f for next session, um, you guys are probably going to go visit the court officially. Yes. Um, so that, <clears throat> unless you guys want to put that off for whatever reason. No, I no. Do that. no, I want to do that. Uh, Mouse will we visit, did it! Mouse will visit Harper. Um, <clears throat> is there anything else I should plan for that you guys think you might want to do next session? I think Bishop is going to check in on Teague and just, like, see <clears throat> if he's alive. <laughs> mm -hmm. I kind of, yeah, I kind of don't think... Like, for us, the quest is over. We don't have any side quests. Mm -hmm. So I think for the rest of us, there is nothing else we 
can really do? No, like, we do have a side quest. We well, we have a side quest. We also have that that murderer somewhere in Toronto. That's the side quest. Oh, I thought you were talking about the this new information we found about the jail. Oh, there's that. Yeah, I forgot about that. <clears throat> okay, sounds good. Um, I will prep that <clears throat> then. Um, let's go into XP real quick. <clears throat> did we get any intel from that, by the way? Uh, you did not, because you got, like, yeah. a piece of paper and, like, burned everything else kind to the Kind of ground. a lead. Yeah. But... So, sorry. <clears throat> um, all right, at the end of the session. Okay, did you guys acquire a new asset, contact resource intel, or expand your influence, or use any of what you've acquired against the Stygian? Um... Hmm. Oh, so I get a phone call, back. Do you guys think you did any of that? I mean, it's, honestly, probably not. Yeah, is it? I mean, unless Oakenheart was like a part, of, like a tendril of the Stygian. But also, we also in, uh, increased our influence with the uh, uh, with the libraries. That's true. You did do that, so I guess that's worth at least one. I was gonna say, can we get half a point? <laughs> no, that's fine. <laughs> Uh, contend with challenges above your current station. Uh, yeah. Well, we... I was going to say definitely. We killed a giant st stone monster. Well, you and a giant them. wood monster. Yes, you did. And, oh, act, and act and killed a room full of people. Mm -hmm. Twice. Bolster your crew's reputation or develop a new one? As yes. As savvy and reckless. I think, I think, I we, did, say I think we did both of them. Mm -hmm. I also think we expressed a new one. As lethal, yeah, I think. I yeah, I know. kind of think we've we were kind of effective. If that makes maybe, sense, maybe not, maybe not lethal, but dangerous. Yeah, savvy, reckless, dangerous. I mean, reckless is kind of dangerous. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> dangerous is kind of savvy plus reckless equals dangerous. <clears throat> That's true. Mm -hmm. Do you want to combine those two into dangerous? Oh, I love That's, that. I kind of like that. All right. Because people can be like, they're dangerous because they're very effective. No, they're dangerous because they're fucking idiots. <laughs> All right. So that's one from that. Uh, express the goals, drives, inner conflict, or essential nature of the crew. Yes. You did complete a quest. So We didn't! I, I would like to point out that the the interactions between Mouse and, and Steven of yes C4, no C4... Also, Mouse and, uh, and and Acton about whether or not to sit to, to help the librarians in the beginning. Yeah, and Acton and Bishop with their whole uh, thing in the beginning of the game. We're just mm -hmm. always in our conflict, just constantly. <laughs> it's nice. All right, uh, so that does it for the crew. You guys didn't get a rank, but that's fine. All right, we're close. Uh, for Bishop, I'll mark your XP down here. Yeah, let me <clears throat> hop back over to that sheet. Uh, earn XP when you address a challenge using speed, foresight, or just in the nick of time. I don't know that I really did. Like, I like I don't know. You did the thing with the pipe, which was pretty quick. Yeah, and I did. Was like, oh look, a pipe. Yeah. Okay, I'll so, take that. What one. is it? It's speed. What was the rest of it? Foresight. Foresight. Or, or just in the nick of time. Learning how to choke out a person with uh, active was definitely some foresight. Oh, yeah. Is that foresight? <laughs> yeah, I guess that is foresight. Oh. Huh. So, two from that. Okay. Express your beliefs, drives, heritage, or background. Um, I think kind of when we we're talking about the mushrooms, because she, I don't know. <clears throat> well, you did say because, like, she's human, she... She's gone. human. She doesn't want to. She feels bad that other humans are dying from this thing. But yeah. on the other hand, we are all human, and all of us had different reactions to what to do with this. Yeah, person. but so, you, no. but you specifically, like you, like if we play back the tapes, <laughs> you would you specifically <laughs> said like Bishop's human, and therefore she doesn't like. So you exp like we didn't express it. You just said yeah. like because you're human. Yeah. And that's like a belief that you held that it was because it was dangerous to others, you should get rid of it. So I'll count that. Okay, cool. Uh, struggle with issues from vice, relationships, or traumas during the session? Hi, Rebecca. Hey! I don't know that we struggled, though. We dealt with them a little you bit. You legitimately said, 
with your gas oh, mask yeah. on, why do you escalate things so quickly? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so that's one. And I did not give you a high five, mm-hmm. even yeah. though it would have been okay. really cool. Um, all right. Uh, let's go to Steven. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, when you address a challenge using tinkering, mechanical ingenuity, or artifice magic. It's the only way that I solve things. You blew a lot of shit up. So two XP from that. Uh, express your beliefs, drives, heritage, or background. I, I did the fight with mouse. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, you can count it as your beliefs, or you can count it as I- issues from relationships. Oh, okay. Well, either way, I think it's it's going to be the it's going to be the same effect. Okay. Because if I use it for one, I don't use it for the other. All right, fine. Um, issues from your traumas, or I don't, I don't uh, have any traumas. Yeah, not really. Uh, so I think it's just three this time. Okay, that's fine. Actin, let's yep. see. Uh, so. Yeah, so flash style and a little bit, a little bit of the old ultra violence. Mm-hmm. So, gonna mark two in this because kill the room full of people, uh, dropped a guy with a chokehold, <laughs> um, uh, basically blew up a guy with C4. Also, then uh, defeated Oakenheart with a uh, pickaxe in the chest after throwing it at him, and also took out that other room of guards. Yeah, uh, yeah. There, there's plenty of ultra violence this time. Yeah, there's five different things. I was like, yeah. Uh, express your beliefs to protect the group. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Yeah, I think that happened. I, 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 it definitely happened once when I pushed uh, Bishop out of the way, mm-hmm. and then I think I think maybe I like it down to you if I can use it for when that guy uh, smashed through the wall, and I was like, "No, don't move." Um, but that's down to you because that's a bit that's on the cusp. I, uh, I'll give you one from that. Uh, yeah. That total category, I think. And yeah. uh, struggling with issues from vice or relationships during this session. I think with both of my groups. So um, <clears throat> I struggled with um, uh, I struggled with my relationship with Mouse. Not about protecting Mouse, but mm-hmm. uh, about the whole librarian thing, like helping them or not. Yeah. And then uh, the and then like uh, I I did increase my relationship with Bishop. But we had that moment where I pushed her out of the way and she was like, why are you like this? Yeah. So <clears> two <throat> from that, I'll say. So close to playbook advancement. That's all I put them in. Okay. <laughs> um, Mouse, uh, address the challenge with technological aptitude or technical finesse. Uh, yeah, I did that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I guess that's technical yeah. finesse to do some magic there. Yeah. I mean... I think so. I mean, it's def- it's definitely it's not technological finesse, but it's technical. Um, that's tr- oh, that's a fair point. Technologic. Yeah. Also, uh, technologic. Technologic. I I disarmed a bomb and braided the nick of time. Yeah. Um, let's do one XP from that because that wasn't really like the focus of this session. But okay. you did do a little bit. Um, let's see. Uh, express your beliefs, drives, heritage, or background. <laughs> Oh, let me just tell you about that one. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, beliefs and drives and heritage and background. Yeah, I, I, the end of the session is, is definitely uh, part of that. But mm-hmm. also, um, uh, Mouse several times uh, tried to make sure that the uh, that we, that we stayed on mission <clears> and <throat> that uh, we were not uh, and that we were keeping ourselves uh, more protected than anyone. Yeah. So two from that definitely. Um, and then struggle with issues from your vice or relationships? Well, we already know, uh, too, because I've used it for once, and then Stephen used it once, old mouse. And then not to mention the vice uh, deciding that they're going to... Mm. Um... Yeah. Okay, so that'll bring you up to five on spent XP, then. Okay. Uh, congratulations. Um, this was kind of a shorter session, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> I'm glad I'm Nick much. and Jeremy aren't fucking dead <laughs> yes i Me am very too. glad with that yeah. you know what struggled with an issue with my relationship on that point <laughs> oh, nick you think life. we're joking but there was a moment when we go should i drive to their house yeah like we, i was literally I, worried about both of you <laughs> we're slightly psychotic sorry nick yeah yeah <clears throat> it's all out of love 
we're so lost without there was one time can i say there was one time where i like thought it was weird that ash hadn't responded in a while and not only that but he hadn't read like our, our like facebook chat between the three of us and i said something to nick about it and nick's like he's probably fine and then it turned out ash had been in the hospital and i was right yeah <laughs> yeah that's actually i've been in the hospital for a couple of days yeah <laughs> sounds like you like, struggled with, with an issue from your relationships there yeah <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Alrighty. All I right. forgot about that. Talk I to you guys later. From um, <laughs> just real quick. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm, I'm actually off for the beginning of this week, so if anyone wants to play on Monday night, well, Monday night for you, I can. I'm down, but if you guys aren't available, it's fine. Yeah, I'm working. <clears throat> yeah, sorry. Well, I imagine, I imagine Eric does not have time to prep something that quick. Sorry, man. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I can only do Sunday next week because Infinity War. Uh, then I can't play. Actually, oh. Sunday, I have a graduation party. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Uh, we will revisit that. Uh, yeah, we'll figure it out. Talk to you guys later. Wait. Bye. 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 Bye.